was funny. I'm at... Yeah, done. CityLink. Um, the lady, because you press the button, because the office is closed, you press the button to go in, and um, she does your identification and stuff. When I gave my driving licence, it's an old one, one of those. It's one of the old ones like that. She says, you can't believe you still got one of those. She says, I didn't think... I says, oh, that gives my age away, doesn't it? She says, when you walked in... I says, I can't believe... She says, she obviously knew that these were old driving licences, the big ones. And she said, um, she couldn't believe me age. She says, when you walked in, I thought you were in your 20s. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm a lot older than that. I said, you're my best friend. Cheers. The Shay would say, what a B-E-A beautiful day. Or is it a B A beautiful day? I think it is. It's a bit windy. I've got a dilemma this afternoon because today is beautiful. It's like 30 degrees. Or would you like it's like 30 degrees? And there are two events going off. One is a home built flying at a local airport, which is about flying club, which is about 15, 20 minutes away from where I am. And the other one is a GTI International, which is all to do with cars. Made by the Volkswagen Group, which is what my car is. Been an enthusiast for years. It's all about um, privately owned cars that are zooped up, and there are lots of competitions in there. I can't go in because it's 20 quid for the day, and it's already the middle of the afternoon. So um, I'm going to go there as they're leaving, just to look at them all. Um, which is why I've come here first. So we're at the local flying club, and there's loads going on. What a fantastic day! I've had to come on my own because Jack's out at a party, Shell's got a bit of a cold, she ain't in for it anyway, so I'll come on my own. But there are a lot here. Plane went up there. Plane getting warmed up there. Look at those. Look at those helicopters. There's a Robinson R22, there's a Belljet, two Belljet Rangers 206Bs, which are my favourite. There's an, it looks like an Augusta helicopter there. I love planes. I want to get my pilot's licence one day, and I've been saying that for the past 30 20 years, um, I would. My obsession have always been. I love planes. I've always been helicopters. And the, the favourite one is the Belgian Ranger 206B. There's two of them there. Like I say, two R22 Robinsons and an Augusta. And loads of other little small planes. Unless you like this kind of stuff, look away now because you're prepared to be very bored. Because I love it. like the Augusta, really big helicopter that they use, it's a commercial sort of helicopter, looks like it's going to go in a minute, that is going to be a great sight, for me anyway. It's like he's got a generator pack probably to get that one going, I don't know. No, I don't know where it's going with it. There's another Jet Ranger just here, and a Schweitzer little helicopter. Bit of free advertising. Look at that, my favourite. Little Jet Ranger. And there's an R44 Robinson as well. that container he's pulling on the back is fuel. He's just fueled that little Schweitzer up so he's going to, I guess that's due to go next. See everybody else, where are they all on a Sunday summer's afternoon? They're at the pub, they're at the park, they're at some do. There's no one here really. Great place to have a picnic.
It's a bit of a pub garden this is. That's the main control tower building. It's waiting for, waiting for someone else to go up now. I honestly thought I'd miss this this year because last year it was at the end of May and we were away Canaries then. So I'd sort of written it off, but I always come every year just for a quick gander and a, a look round and it popped up on my, I dropped it in my calendar months ago when I looked on the website and it popped up this morning I thought, what's that? And I thought, oh my god. And GTI International, which am I going to go to? So a bit of both will suffice. Suffice. It's good as well because some of them, it's a home built flying so you get a lot of the normal planes but then you get some literally home built ones and they're quite interesting to see. All little micro lights. Get blown around a lot on a day like this. Actually it's not too, last year was really windy. It's not too bad this year. Robinson R22 that's just going to go, I think. He's got his lights on. Maneuvering that round here. It's very confined, very confined, confined space and very windy. Right. I'm gonna to have to make a decision very soon. Do I stay here or go over to GTI International and watch scars come out? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's the fun part. I like watching them all come out. It can be really sad and boring. And then watch them all floor it down that straight as you come out. It's in the middle of the country, they floor it down the straight. Real fun. I think I'll stay a bit longer yet. Yeah, Schweitz is going to go soon, right? When he's finished checking and, and whatever he does.
Mr. Robinson's coming back now. Comes. There's not a lot that's going to happen for now till later, so I think about I've had it, had it this afternoon here now. So uh, it's over to GTI International. Are you ready? <coughs> Just like that, we're here. There's loads of them coming out now. I've got to find somewhere to park because they're all sat here in the labour line. See, there's just loads of them. TTs, GTIs, you name it. They're all sounding pretty damn good as well. Now that's an R32, that is very nice. Am I boring you yet? <laughs> That was an A8. God, that sounded good. I've got to change the batteries and rearrange the batteries. I don't believe it. There's a girl there, that's an R. Bloody hell, that's a Cosworth, Sierra Cosworth. There's an Audi A3 that's just pulled out with a red one with a girl driving it. She's got eyelashes on the front headlamps. Real big eyelashes. <laughs> I suppose you've got to do your bit. Very summery tonight, nine o'clock. The bit you've just seen, the battery went dead. So I put a spare set of batteries in. Unfortunately, they were flat as well, so that's why it's just. So I've come down Leafy Lane tonight, it's just after nine now. Because it's been such a nice day, it's been around about 30 today, 30 degrees. And this evening it must have been it's about mid 20s, I think. It's lovely. Definitely the warmest day so far. Because June so far has been a bit of a washout. <laughs> so uh, we're out for a walk down Leafy Lane tonight. 
a 20 minute walk. <coughs> Left Jack in doing his homework. You're just not a walker, are you? Yes, I am. Says her legs hurt. They get itchy. Which is a good sign, because that's a sign of good circulation. I keep hearing that peacock. There's a peacock in the distance. I don't know where it is. Heard it when we came out. That's a dog now. That's a dog. Not a peacock. That's a dog. No, there is a peacock there. Is there? I could do an impression. Used to a peacock impression, but I'm not going to do it now because it'd be too embarrassing. <sighs> Will be for me anyway. Well, there we are. A fancy ride on this bug now. Very exhilarating. <laughs> what? Don't film the what? The bottom. What you need to do. Mm -hmm. Good idea that it's a good cure for itchy legs because of circulation. Mm -hmm. You need to run. No, that won't work. Well, no. running gets rid of the itchiness. No, no because that would just make it more worse. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> it's like that time when you said you had an ulcer and it was really annoying you all night, and I said the best thing for it is vinegar. And you weren't convinced until I kept persuading you, and then you actually put vinegar on it. Yeah. See, that's why I don't listen to anything you say now. Because I know that you're spiteful and devious. It was very amusing at the time, but I don't think I was very popular. No, no, no that's why I don't listen to anything you say anymore. That's why I'm always a bit sceptical of your ideas. Give me a piggyback in a minute. Oh, thanks. My legs, my legs are itchy. I told you you need to run. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> Do you think? Yeah, can you come and pick uh, pick mum up? She can't walk. She's got itchy legs. She can't do it. I know. I've told her, but she can't do it. <laughs> what? Is that? Behind your knees. Behind your knees. Will do. More you scratch it, the more it can itch. That's it. Run. One of those wonderful. Oh, look at that. One of those wonderful summer evenings. The first of one in so far this year. I'm just laughing at that guy with the dog. He's got a husky dog. It's pulling him along. Listen. Did you hear that peacock? I'm not imagining it, honestly. That, hus that guy's got a dog. Husky, lovely husky dog. It's really nice. He's pulling him along on skates, he's on roller skates, and the husky dog's pulling him along. Better than a sledge, I suppose. That's what I need. Is it? A husky dog with some roller skates. That's yeah, did dog. you see him? Yeah. Very I thought, amusing. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's right. Excellent. I just I can't believe it. I just turned the camera on too late. 
don't know what that noise was. It's someone on a rollerboard, then I realised it was him again coming back. Look where that cat is. Incognito, they always go somewhere that's really. <laughs> really out of the way and cool as well. Right in the back, he'll have a shot when he pulls away. Oh, funny. It's brilliant. It's been uh, it's been all the way that way, all the way the other way, then up to the top, round the park, done a full round the block job. That's a lot of exercise for one dog, but he does that twice a day. You have to show me what the procedure is. Oh, yeah, but I didn't see the full procedure. This isn't the rushing bit, is it? That's what? Plus on the other tires. Oh, won't there be a rushing bit? <laughs> I should speed this up. Good covering. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It smells good. 